the different kind of loadings that is used for the design so let's start the video so what it contains for the today's video is, is like uh, this is the part one wherein we are going to cover what are the different types of stresses and the loadings which acts onto the different structures then what will be the stress ratio and then uh, we'll talk about the internal stress very first thing is the st statics load so if you see into the pictures the first one is the beam which is acted the 4 cf on it and then this is considered as a bending then we do have a second one the force p which is acting actually so this is called the axial loading so the force that is the f it is in the bending and then the p in the axials are applied and remain constant onto the structure so this is a graph which says about the stress which is going to increase uh, when the when there is a change in the time and it is the ratio for this stress is uh, one so moving to the next so what is meant by the dynamic stresses the loads that vary during the normal service of the product produce dynamic stresses so dynamic stresses can be a cyclic or the random high cyclic fatigue part subject to the million of the stresses so i'm not going to add uh, any of the examples here so you may find in your books uh, different kind of uh, examples for the dynamic stresses so this is one uh, which i would like to talk talk about so how the cyclic load produce the cyclic stresses which can lead to the mechanical failure of the any component so if you see the component here is the bolt and uh, it is uh, the cyclic load has been attached uh, or the given to the board and then how uh, the mechanical failures going to occur and this board can be predicted so the mechanical fatigue uh, is nothing but the progressive and the localized structure structural damage that occurs when the material subject to the cyclic loading the cyclic stress is well below the stencil and uh, well below the sensor strength uh, what are the different types of cyclic stresses we do observe so very first one is the repeated repeated and reversed that is in that case the mean stress it was to zero then the second one is the fluctuating stress the mean stress in this case is not the zero so there are uh, three different subsets for the fluctuating stress one is the stencil mean stress can cyclic between the tension and the compression or all the tensions compression mean stress can cyclic between the tension and the compression or all the compressions and then the third one is the repeated one direction stress so now we will see what are the different kind of the definitions or how it is being calculated so very first thing is the alternative alternating stress so that is nothing but the sigma max by sigma mean by 2 or we can call it as the delta sigma by 2 then what is the mean stress mean stress is nothing but the sigma max plus sigma mean by 2 and then we calculate the r value that is the ratio that is the sigma mean by sigma max so the r equals to 0 uh, repeated it and the one direction that is the stress cycle from the zero to max value and r equals to minus one which is uh, for the fully reverse r more conditions so very first thing is repeated it and reverse stress an element subject to repeated it and alternating strain soil and the compressive stress so here if you see the bending in the axial but this is the repeated stress which are acting onto the beams and in the same case onto the actual the repeated stress which are acting onto the actual directions as well so how this behaves uh, in terms of the graph so if you see uh, in terms of the stress and the times so the stresses are going mean and max and this is nothing but uh, will help us to calculate the ratio that is the r in this case so the average or the mean stress uh, is equals to zero in this case uh, this is just example of cyclic loading uh, 
that is the very low amplitude acoustic vibration second one is the high cyclic fatigue cyclic well uh, below general yield and then third one is the low cycle fatigue cyclic above general yield all the stresses above are repeated and reversed uh, this is nothing but a fatigue testing uh, samples how to carry out the fatigue, fatigue testings so uh, constant stress can cantilever beam we have considered uh, and that is good for flat stacks and then the get shear stress in the addition to the bending stress so if you see here uh, the, at the one end the structure or the beam is constant or the fix and then there is an area wherein the load uh, repetitive load which is getting acted onto the end or the certain level of or the certain distance of the beam and then this is what is the top view which is looking like and then how uh, this is how the typical test setups for the bending fatigue which can occur these are the typical uh, data what we get uh, from the fatigue testing uh, for the different kind of loads and from the different kind of loads we can uh, predict the life and then the what are the different stress levels for that loads now here uh, we'll talk about the endurance the endurance stress uh, strength is the stress level that a material can survive for a given number of lo load cycles endurance limit is the stress level that a material can survive for an infinite number of load cycles estimate for the rod steel endurance stress equals to 0.5 uh, most non-ferrous material aluminium like aluminium do not have the endurance limit uh, this is the this typical graph of uh, what are the different endurance limit for the different kind of material so if you see uh, it is a heat treated alloy what is the endurance limit for that then medium carbon steel what is the endurance limit for that uh, aluminium there is no it is a going straight there is no endurance limit here you have cast iron so you can see the endurance limit for the uh, cast iron these are the general uh, phenomena or the graphs which are readily available in any books of the strength of material you can observe and you can again go in depth so studying uh, or calculating this endurance limit for the different kind of materials so this is all about uh, the different kind of uh, loadings can be considered for the design uh, we, we want you to watch uh, another video on the design engineering for the different kind of loadings and the stresses for the uh, calculating the or the designing of the any structure of the beam thank you